are making schoolboy errors and amid the frenzy that pervades many property markets across Australia right now. They're selecting regional properties recklessly, they're committing without proper due diligence, and often they're paying way too much. Why in haste, repent at leisure will become the catch cry for many investors in the future, I believe. Much of what's happening in this national property boom arises from the fundamental failing of most Australians who attempt property investment. They're herd animals. The relatively few who are switched on were buying six or nine months ago. What's happening now in our property markets was foreseeable and it was predicted by hotspotting and by others who truly understand real estate dynamics like Simon Presley of Propertyology. Investors who make it their business to stay informed, who have built a team of trusted advisors and who are research based in their decision making, were in the market well ahead of the rampaging pack. But they're the exceptions. Most people simply follow the herd. They're in the market right now, or trying to be, because they heard there's a boom on. They haven't done any work or thought too deeply about it. They've simply joined the stampede. Now, right now, it feels like you could stick a map of Australia on the wall, throw a dart at it, buy wherever it lands, and make money in the next 6 or 12 months. But what about the longer term? Does the location of choice have the credentials to provide sustainable long-term growth? Even in rapidly rising markets like we have now, you need to make good choices about location. But having picked a random location, many are buying sight unseen and not applying the usual checks and balances. They're viewing a property online, making a phone call and buying on the spot. They say the camera doesn't lie, but the person wielding the camera or the computer software often does. And what about building and pest inspections? Now to complete the trifecta of big mistake that many are, buy are making, buyers are often paying above market value. They think they're getting a bargain because they're a city resident buying in a regional area and the target properties appear to be cheap. Now I had a com recent conversation with a Sydney resident about the market in the Queensland Regional Centre where typical houses cost in the 300000s. He went online while we were speaking and looked at some of the properties for sale. And his reaction was, wow, that's really cheap. And he was ready to buy on the spot. But while the homes that he was viewing online may have seemed cheap relative to Sydney, they may well have been overpriced in terms of local property values. Many vendors are asking silly prices because I've heard that many buyers are doing silly things. And as a result of this kind of activity, median prices are rising rapidly. The local buyers are complaining because they're being priced out of their own markets by buyers from the big cities. Everyone involved in the process, except perhaps vendors, would much prefer more normal markets. But what we have are abnormal conditions created by a series of events and circumstances which have been building over the past six to nine months. It's not about the low level of interest rates, as media keeps telling us. It's being generated by economic and other circumstances, which I've discussed uh, in this forum uh, some weeks ago. 16 dot points on my list of factors generating Australia's first genuine nationwide property boom in 20 years. But fast rising prices may not cover the mistakes that many investors are currently making. So I urge you all to buy with care.